To set up your XTouch 1 to work with FL Studio, you will need to do the following. Connect your XTouch 1 to your workstation via USB. Hold down the stop button and press the encode knob. Turn the dial to cycle through the different protocols. For FL Studio, you will need to select MC Standard. Press the knob down again to confirm your selection. Press the encoder knob a couple more times until the LCD screen is blank. Open FL Studio. Press Options and MIDI Settings. Highlight the XTouch 1 under Output and Input. Make sure the Enable and Send Master Sync buttons are highlighted. Increase the port number for both the input and output, ensuring they are the same. Under Controller Type, select Mackie Control Universal. You should now be able to control FL Studio from your XTouch 1. Thanks for watching. If you're experiencing any problems, please head over to the Behringer website and submit a support ticket. Also, go ahead and check out some of our other YouTube knowledge-based channels and don't forget to go and join the Music Tribe community.